Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I have Michael Grave, uh, Jayhawk Jensen once again. Uh, we're going to be going over uh, what happened in week three in Survivor, and then proceeding on to week four. Um, it's funny, you know, Mike uh, just mentioned to me that next week we might go earlier because he had might he might have a poker engagement, and it, it coincides with something I'm saying is that um, this uh, this Saturday. Uh, I, I am sort of coming out of retirement. I'm playing an on, it's not a big deal, an online World Series of Poker bracelet event from New Jersey. Oh my. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to be playing in that. Um, hopefully I can remember what beats what, you know, I, I'm pretty sure that flushes still beat straights, but we'll, we're going to see, uh, we're going to see how that goes. My, my wife's away for the weekend and my uh, friend who I've been waiting to visit his new place in Jersey. He says, oh, I'm playing this circuit event. Um, like, oh, I'm in. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna open up a WSOP online account and uh, and and play. Hopefully, there's like 14 other tournaments to play. You know, it's that. I try I tried to play one a few years ago. I was at my mom's in Nevada. I created an account, and it asked for the last four digits of my social, and it said it didn't match. Oh, love and that. I'm like, you got to be kidding me! I tried five times. I know what my social is, and they. It wouldn't work, so I couldn't play. Never tried again. All right, so let's start with – I'll go first, well, and I'll go over my last <clears> week, and then you can go through your last week, then we can move on um, to this week, and we'll talk about some paths uh, towards to, to the end. So, uh, okay, so first of all, in Circa, me and my partner, we took a couple of different routes. Uh, we did a couple of two uh, two future value plays. We, we have one uh, – uh, uh, Jacksonville, which lost. We had one uh, Baltimore, which lost. Then we had a couple of others. So we have, um, we played three. No, we played, yeah, three Kansas cities, which is a completely different way to play. Um, and we also, we've tried two others. We, we tried, we tried to get away with stealing New England and we did. So we got a New England through uh, and we tried and tried to body English the Raiders through somehow. We couldn't quite, make that happen uh so uh got through with got through with some with 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 the others uh in in single picks and double picks pretty much the same you know we uh lost a couple with the, the with the jacksonville uh uh whatchamacallit pairings baltimore's but we you know we've got some through with some chalky uh you know ev plays and hope to kind of like re reroute everything now it turns out that jacksonville just just crushed like many pools across the united states starting with Circa, um, and Baltimore crushed some, some souls over there as well. What we didn't do, uh, and we thought about it uh, for a lot, uh, for a while, was play Seattle. Um, uh, we, you and I talked about this quite a bit, and uh, Seattle turned out to be a little more popular than I probably would have liked anyway. Um, in Circa, they ended up by like 8 9% or something like that. But that's probably the one, I don't say mistake I made, but so that's where what I did uh, last week. So why don't you start now, just, just to keep everybody up to speed, okay? So mm. so and I know this is going to happen. I'm, I'm feeling it. So so Mike went down with like 63 of his 66 entries in like week one, pretty much, and and he's like, well, I'm going to play hypothetical survivor the rest of the year. This this this. And I'm like, dude, these these those three entries or whatever it is, they they have a little bit of teeth. And now I don't know what he ended up doing, but he did mention last week. That he was considering playing all three Kansas cities, but he was also talking about Seattle's. I'm hoping that something didn't change and that at least those three went through. So, what did you do last week? So, I, I have two entries remaining. We lost oh. one on Denver in week two. Oh, that's um, right. That. We took both of our entries on Kansas City. All right. I love I love Seattle. I don't even regret it. We did, we only had two entries. I, I said last week Seattle was a really good portfolio play. It was a really good circa play, even at that pick percentage. Again, I don't look at what the EV numbers are, but even if you're giving up a little bit off of taking one of the other teams, you're going to make it up later by having used up Seattle and by doing that, saving some of the other teams that ended up all losing anyway. So it was it, yep. you know, Seattle was the ended up the being the perfect pick this week that was that was realistic so i want to talk about a couple of things we're going to go through the, the we're going to go through the uh the teams and we're also going to go through the some paths okay and i want to just bring up a point before we even get to it uh you know before before we even week one we talk about future value and, and you know and 
how fragile it can be, you know, because what you think is going to be the case at the beginning of the year is just not the case at the end. Okay. Um, and how that changes is, is really like amazing. You know, I'll throw this out there. I, you know, we'll, we'll get there in a minute, but remember, I think, I, I think we could start a little bit on the path yeah, cause I, yeah, because, transition, because, it, because I we, have some notes that transition yeah, really well. Like, for example, who would have thought like, so week one, all the geniuses, they said, oh, we're going to play Washington. We'll just pound Washington right away because you're never going to be able to use Washington again, right? And as it turns out, like, Washington's going to be like like the chalk in week five. You know what I mean? Like, now all of a sudden, like, Washington becomes like an elite play in week five, which I never even, never even freaking thought about, you know, because Chicago has been completely repriced, you know, because yeah. of how bad they are. And then, like, even, like, you talk about, like, something like week 16 where I was worried about, well, Chicago was going to be, like, the, the uber 100% owned pick two in Circa. Now they're probably not going to be the favorite. You know what I mean? So, so Yeah. Maybe they will. It changed very quickly. Without even injuries, too. Just it Without very anything, quickly. you know? And so and, – and Miami, you know, where, where Miami was kind of like a – not fringy play, but they were kind of an okay – they were a good play on Thanksgiving, the Black Friday game. You know, now yeah. they're going to be like minus 100. You know what I mean? Like now, now they're the, – so w as these teams reprice, like due to the power ratings and stuff like that, like New Orleans now becomes like very – like just – they used to be like a sneaky play that no one was going to notice. And now they're usable like 100 times. Very, very important. I have three notes about Paz. Wait, wait, New wait, wait, Orleans wait, wait, will be one of them every week. If there's one other one. And the other team that's gotten repriced is Carolina. You know, like now Carolina is the worst team in the NFL apparently. You know, so, so it's – uh. It's it's uh it's it's really amazing, you know, how fragile these things are. And just when you think that, okay, I, I need to save X for 17 or whatever it is, now they're barely in play. So why don't why don't we talk about that? We'll get we'll pick, you guys will, you guys could earn the, the the picks. We'll we'll talk about the paths first. So so tell me tell me some of your thoughts in general. Uh, the first note I have is when you're taking a quote chalky team let at least be a team that doesn't project to be that good throughout the year. And in week one, the example is Washington. Yeah. Washington could play out to be a great team, but more likely than not, they're going to be an average at best. Yeah. I laid off Washington completely. I didn't think it was a bad pick and I would have liked, you know, I would have felt great if I got through because I would have not used potentially some other teams, but those that took Washington, the New York Giants and Seattle are sitting very, very pretty right now. Yeah. Washington and the New York Giants are almost unusable outside that one week. I hadn't even noticed that week five yeah. for Washington. And Seattle, you're going to want to lay off them in six anyway. So seven. It, maybe, it's, yeah. Seven. Yeah. So if you're going to take a chalkier team, and I love the Giants, even at, even at the, high, the high pick percentage, even yeah. for Circa, I didn't care what it was. Uh, because if you're not, you have to take 18 or 20 winners and others, you have to take more. You have to pick a bunch of teams, at least take a chalky team that you're not going to use because the way it worked out, if you took these three teams, you have all of the teams that you need remaining. And then you're going to have a lot more options starting on this week. Whereas if you had taken a couple of the other teams it makes it really, really hard to take Philadelphia this week, which we'll get to into the picking part. You have to leave yourself with these teams that are projected to be very high favorites for the middle and end stages of the, of, of the game. Using yeah. up some Washington isn't going to hurt you later. Yeah, so I'll, 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 I'll give one other thought is that, you know, it's something you brought up last week, you know, about when you, when you were just considering using Kansas City. You know, you mentioned I'm going to take kind of the free square this week. It's, oh, yeah, Kansas City. Because, like, you think that you need to use them later. You know what I mean? But 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 in reality, you probably don't. You know what I mean? And 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 and, and, and we, we will talk about San Francisco in that in that realm, uh, mm -hmm. this, you know, because it's it's listen, they're they're a 14,000 point favorite. Right. And it's another free square. And part of you, like, okay, there'd be nice to use in the future. Yeah, but do you have to use it? You know what I mean? Like, is there a week where you're just 100% sure, oh, boy, I'm so glad I have San Francisco here? You know, maybe there is. But, but, but I thought that was um, 
it was kind of like sneaky sharp that Kansas City play last week, you know, um, because some sometimes it's really important to get through, you know, and if it's not going to cost you that much in the future to get through, um, uh, I think I think that was actually like kind of sneaky sharp to play Kansas City. So I'm glad that we did. But the way that you're able to do that and feel good about it is if you have the other teams available as backup. Philadelphia wasn't a very highly picked team in any particular week so far, but two point they were on average 2.6% picked in week one. So if for those that took Philadelphia, it limits their opportunity to take Kansas City last week or this week or take San Francisco this week or last week. Because when you start taking multiple of these teams within this top tier group, it's going to really cost you later. Not only are you going to have to drop from one of the top tier teams, but you're going to land on a group of teams that everybody else is going to be picking anyway. So you'll end up on the chalky team that is beneath a team that you'd want to be taking anyway. So, so let's, let's talk about this. So I, I'm going to start with San Francisco, like right at the top. Okay. They're going to be, 40% owned across the board. And I'm actually, I have a side bet with my, with my partner on this one. Okay. He, he, well, I, sh- I shouldn't like sway you. Well, I won't sway you. You'll, you'll give me your, your, your honest thoughts. He thinks that, that people are going to want to save a little bit of San Francisco for possible Christmas, for possible Thanksgiving, for possible whatever's. And that they're not going to be 40% owned, that they're going to be less. And a team like the Chargers um, is, while well, they're showing five percent here, they're going to be uh, very, they're going to be much more popular. And I bet him, uh, I bet him a, a pizza because we were real high rollers, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I gave him a twenty percent um, uh, spread. I say t- I said that San Francisco would be more than twenty percent ahead of San of, of Chargers, and he he thought that was like free money for him. OK, he thought the charge were going to be almost as popular as San Francisco. And my, my thoughts on the San Francisco thing was that even in Circa, people are just going to jam them. OK, like big time because yeah. because the path that you can get to the end does not really include San Francisco. I mean, like like it could it include San yeah. Francisco, but like just just as an example, now this is going to be chalky. I'm not saying you have to do all this. Right. But like week five, you know. Let's pick any. You can put, take Detroit, like for example, like week six, the Rams. All right. Now again, I'm not saying you have to do it. They're going to be really popular, whatever it is. But Rams over whatever. Week seven, you could take Seattle. Right. Week eight, you can go back to the aforementioned Chargers. Week nine, you play Cleveland. I'm just talking about just getting to the end. Week ten, yeah. you can go back and play. If you haven't used Buffalo, you can play Buffalo or Cincinnati. You know, whatever. Even if you use Dallas, you can play either of those. Week eleven. Um, you could go back. You could, if you didn't play Detroit back then, you could use them here. You could play Miami at any old times. So you could play Miami there. Then week 12, you can go play all of a sudden Tennessee has become pretty, pretty, pretty usable there. And I'm not even considering whether you use Kansas City or not. Week 13, Pittsburgh is, is, is clearly the best play. Week 14, you can go play New Orleans. Week 15, then you can just, you know, now, now Cleveland becomes like, like, like ridiculous over here. And then you go back to Miami, another chance to play New Orleans. There, San Francisco showed up or whatever. And we haven't talked about using Philly yet. And like Philly, you can use them in 16 if you feel like it. And 17. And or 17. Then Jacksonville in 17, if you use them, is minus 10. And then 18, you can use Green Bay, you know, among other among other things. So so the point is, I'm not saying that, that that's the way you have to play because all of those picks are going to be pretty apparent. So like the field and probably half of those at least are probably fades anyway. But the point is, is that is that San Francisco itself does not necessarily need to be part of your plan. So so for so I, I agree. So I think that 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 take is also going to be pretty well known. And I think San Fran is going to be just jammed. And I personally don't really have a problem with it. Um like for me, I I don't mind San Francisco as a play at all. Like literally in all pools. Now I'm not saying that it's it's you know that you can't be aggressive. We'll get to some aggressive shots you know with other teams, okay? But I think that that the the fact that they're like an enormous favorite. All right, let's just say you use Kansas City for example, okay? Uh, the fact that they're seven points more highly favored than anybody else that means a lot. 
And if unless that you're really costing yourself having them in the future, I, unless I, ju I just think that there's literally nothing wrong with playing San Francisco this week. Um, why don't you talk to me about San Francisco? I mean, we may as well go over the three next biggest favorite teams. We talk about Kansas City, Dallas, and Philadelphia too. If you did not take, let's see. I, I, San Francisco is my favorite pick this week. It, it was my favorite pick last week yeah. or this week. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 we made up our mind last week. It was just going to go Kansas City, San Francisco. Take two, take two weeks off. You know what I mean? Take, yeah, take two weeks off. Sit back, enjoy the show. I, 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 I agree with you. I don't see. It'd be nice to have San Francisco, but it's also nice to have a fourteen-point favorite. It's their best game the rest of the year, albeit there are some very good ones. You don't know exactly how the end of the season is going to play out. You know, they, they might be laying down for the, the last two weeks, depending on what the standings are. You, I don't need them for 16. I'm not in Circa, so I, I'm not really thinking that way. But if I was in Circa, I would pick – I want to hold Philadelphia yep. or Kansas City and then use everybody else. That, 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 that's what my thinking would be uh, for the Christmas slate. Meaning, I would just use Cam I would just use San Francisco up front because I what the last thing I'd want is to get to Week 16 and have to switch to switch off of Philly or Kansas City and then not use San Francisco at all. Right. I mean, that 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 just be so silly because there is a chance that you wouldn't even play them and they make the playoffs. Right. So I I love San Francisco. Now, if you took San Francisco in Week Two or Three more week two than three, you're really paying the price for it here because you're, you're automatically dropping off of the highest favorite by having already taken San Francisco. And the next best team is the team that what well, you could have took last week at a bigger favorite, yeah. Kansas City. And if you use Kansas City, then you're really handcuffing yourself for the end of the season in a, a single pick or, uh, or, or especially Circa. It means you would have to take – you know, pretty much say Philadelphia for Christmas. So this is why it's, it is vital to, uh, to look ahead. You didn't need to look that far ahead to see, wow, I really need Philadelphia. I should not use them in week one, two, or three. Right. Now, even as part of a portfolio, now I'm out. Uh, so the only way I would be here is if I had picked someone outside of Philadelphia and, and, and they all won. Because I was never taking Philadelphia. I'd, I'd rather be out than have used my Philadelphia or Buffalo. You need those teams to be able to hold on to someone more important for the end of the season. Well, to, so share, San Francisco, to, share, well, to share with you, I mean, what the circa, the circa ones we have. And both, both of them, again, you know, these are different paths than I, than I probably would have preferred. But this is where we are. I mean, our first two weeks are now, now in the bank at Baltimore and Dallas. You know, I would never, you know what I mean? Like. Baltimore, Dallas, on 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 uh, Baltimore, Dallas, Kansas City, on four of them, and Baltimore, Kansas, and Baltimore, Dallas, and New England. You know what I mean? So that's that's where we are, you know. And and, uh, and so it's funny, like Dallas, we knew, you know, we, we were gonna get rid of them, but listen, you you, you suffer, you know. Like there's gonna be times I I'd, I'd like to have I'd like to have Dallas with thirteen, whatever it is. But you, you, this is where we are, and. And so we're, you know, we're fighting against those people that you mentioned. We're fighting against the Washington Giants, Seattle people. Like that's, those are, those are tough, man. Those are, those are very strong entries. The yeah, because once, once they win, they gain a lot of EV in the future. Yeah, yeah absolutely. As, as, and after two weeks, they gain even more because yeah. you're never taking the Giants and in, in, yeah. in, 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 in anywhere. They're just a dead yeah. team to, uh, to be holding on to. So San Francisco is my favorite team. I, I mapped it out. I, yeah, they'd be nice to have, but there's there's plenty of other teams. Uh, now, if you've already taken some of the other top teams, you, you got to be a little bit more careful. I, I didn't look into all of those combos, but if you've already taken some of the Kansas City, Philadelphia, Buffalo group, yeah, you got you got to be careful because you might need San Francisco for like weeks 14, 15, maybe. Uh, well, and they would, know, and they wouldn't be, be hard. Uh, it wouldn't hurt to have them for seventeen, eighteen either. Well, and I hate to do this, you know. It's like when you said, you know, San Francisco. You know, if you picked them a week two, I mean, like I when I before when I did these myself before you came on board, I would say, listen, you know, if you took 
if you took X, I don't know what to tell you because then you weren't listening to me when I told you not to take them. You know what I mean? So, so, so it's harder. Like then, but someone comes in, and they always do this. Like week twelve, I took this, 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 this. What do I do? I'm like, well, where were you? I mean, like, where were you when I told you to not that, that this would happen to you if you played these eleven teams? Yeah. And, and you know, but, but the. But you joke about it, but it is true. I, I already am playing hypothetical survivor because I have to be realistic in my analysis because most of the people left did not take right San Francisco, Washington, New York Giants, and Seattle to get through. You know, a bulk of them took teams that I would personally never take, which right. puts which would force you to you know drop. Like I'm not taking the Chargers this week. Well, we're getting, yeah, that's going to be the next thing we're talking about. But other people, depending on who you've already used. You're, you know, you more or less have to. Okay, so here's so here's the deal with the Chargers, all right? The deal with the Chargers is this. You have, let's pull up week eight, okay? So week eight, the Chargers are an enormous favorite over Chicago. And um, at the beginning of the season or whatever it is, this was one of the spots that I was going to, I was going to identify as a pretty decent fade. Okay. I thought that they would be a hundred percent available and there, and no one would want to play Dallas. You know what I mean? Because of Thanksgiving um, and people will have burned Buffalo back in week or whatever it is. Um, and I thought that I was going to fade them. Uh, excuse me. I thought they'd be a fade in eight. So I was actually looking at the chargers in a week like this to play. Um, uh, with the you know with the idea of fading in the week eight, things are a little different now. Um, first of all, I think that even though I'm a little you know my, my partner's a little bit wrong, I do think that especially in circa, I think the Chargers are going to be a little bit more. I think going to be more popular than this. Uh, they're not going to be twenty percent, but they're going to be something because but but because now there are options in eight that people can use. Also, like Miami, all of a sudden, like now an eight point favorite of these guys and. Detroit's now a full eight points over 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 Las Vegas. So this Charger thing is a pretty interesting uh, decision. Um, like if you don't play San Francisco, you know I'm not playing any of these other teams. Like that, that they're similarly favored. I can't see Dallas going up here. And Charges is the next kind of in a tier of their own, their own before we get down. We're still talking about Week Eight, right? Well, I'm talking about this week. Okay. <laughs> um, but it's all relevant to week eight. So yeah. I don't know what I want to do with the charges yet. Um, now, one thing is that people that's uh, let, 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 let me jump in on week eight because oh. it, it's very relevant to discussion. Yep. I think last week I changed my mind a lot and I changed my mind a lot because you're supposed to whenever information yep. changes. I never would have picked, I think the chargers probably last week. I probably, I put them on, on a fade list. If Chicago is going to be this bad, yeah, I'm going to take the Chargers. I just don't care. And yeah. the reason I'm going to take them is, as of right now, if I had to make my pick, I'm going to take the Chargers in week eight. And I don't care if they're 40% pick. And the reason I don't care is I do not want to use Dallas, Buffalo, Miami, Detroit, yep. or Detroit. And I've already used Kansas City. I'm ne if I have, Phil well, I have Philadelphia, I'm saving Philadelphia for the end. And I would never use San Francisco here. So now you're down to – the, the, the three and a half point Green Bay and the well, team that's going to pop up every week, New Orleans. I'm not, you got to save New Orleans. So I would this, rather save those other teams. Well, this is also interesting, you know, specific to Circa. You know, the, the, one of the things that's interesting is the Washington Giants Seattle crew. I think that they're going to be playing uh, the Chargers this week because they have saved Baltimore. A and if they have Baltimore, they can go after like if I had Baltimore, I'd probably go after the Charger chalk. Like if I had Baltimore available, um, and play Baltimore and eight. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, I like that. I, I had him available, which I which at this point I don't. But but the Giants, but the Giants, the Washington Giants, Seattle people do have Baltimore available. You know. Yeah, I, I like that. I like that. So I think that they are going to actually play something more like the Chargers this week, making the Chargers a little less chalky in eight. Um, so I, I think I'm with you in that I'm, I'm inclined to, to fade the charges in ch here. And like you said, you know, if Chicago is going to be like this, you know, just 
I'll eat the, I'll eat, I'll eat it. You know, I'll, I, I'll, I'll I'm trying to think what I would do if I was in Circa and I'd use those teams. I think I would still take San Francisco. Yeah, I'm thinking. I, I really think I would. I, I'd rather eat it in eight to save those other teams because there's going to, it's going to set up multiple opportunities. Last, last year in Circa, albeit we went out in, you know, early, like it was seven or eight or something. We picked a group of teams that we wanted to have for a very specific run out that started in week 11. We had an 11, 12, 13, 14 week run where we wanted four very specific teams. It doesn't guarantee anything, but it puts you on a much more separated path than the rest of the herd. If wow. we got there, we would have had that, but we fell short. A few people had it. I was and I was very impressed. A couple of people, theirs was actually too strong of a run. They took some very, very, very risky picks, but the risk paid off for them. They had a, a stronger run than we would have had. All right, I so would rather set up. A, I'd rather set up a strong run on this Dallas, Miami uh, teams because they are going to be used four weeks in a row for Miami, three weeks in a row for. Dallas and they're both going to be using eight so you have a really nice hammer set up for you know, week 15 for Miami is going to be one of the games of the year the other one is off topic but Philadelphia in 17 yeah if you still have them there but you'd have to gotten through 16 because there's a very large drop off in 17 currently from yeah. Philadelphia to the next team um well speaking of which uh we're going to get back into this week because the other team that's going to be extremely popular in week 17 is Jets. Okay. I'm presuming things hold, which they won't. Okay. But, but like if you had to fast forward to 17 now, like this is what, that's what yeah. So let's talk about like the fun, the fun discussion as far as I'm concerned. So, so, mm -hmm. so the, the next, the next, the next crew. Okay. So I'm going to include Minnesota, Denver and Jacksonville in this next group. Okay, and the reason why is because I'm not interested in New Orleans. Way easy to use in the future. Buffalo, Pittsburgh, whatever it is. So here is the deal as far as I'm concerned with these three teams. Uh, um, and I, I do like all three, even in Circa, to, uh, but I, one might be better than the other. So Minnesota, they're going to be 0% owned. And, and one of the reasons why is because in week 12, they, they currently project to be the Uber chalk pick two on Thanksgiving. Okay. So Thanksgiving, you have to pick two to two, you know, two teams. One is of the Thanksgiving day games plus Miami jets, which is black Friday. Um, and then you also have to pick a second team. Um, and all these other teams are like Thanksgiving teams, you know, and, and, and Minnesota at, at minus seven against Chicago, maybe even more. Um, excuse me, um, Minnesota minus seven in Chicago, or maybe even more between them and Tennessee. Those are two just really, really chalky teams. Okay. So, so, and that's the only time that Minnesota is really, in my opinion, usable. So Minnesota has kind of, you know, we talk about this a lot, but kind of like fake future value, I think. So, so that is an argument. Okay. That if you're going to drop to use Minnesota. Now, another one is Jacksonville. So I'll, I'll get back to Denver in a second. Jacksonville, yeah. again, you know, it's scary, right? First of all, they're Owen, whatever, they're, they're, whatever it is, playing London, where they, they're only 60% to win. But in the future, you know, I guess you could, you know, Jacksonville, they're going to be, they're not going to be that popular in six, though, because Jack, Eric, the Rams are going to be pretty popular there. And then they are going to be really popular in 17. So it's a question of whether you want to save Jacksonville for these. So I, again, I'm going back and forth with that one. And the other like, like kind of weird drop. I mean, this is takes like your, your ultra, you know, you gotta be real sicko to do this, but you could play Denver with zero future value coming off a 70 point <laughs> defensive performance. Like going into Chicago. It's like, it's like, it's like if I still bet sports, like Chicago is like the lock of the year in that game. You know what I mean? But, you know, it's a survivor. We can't do that. That's rule number one. Okay. So if you're going to drop, I think a Denver would be like that ridiculous play that if God forbid you get away with it. Like imagine having a Washington Giants, Seattle, Denver, like on the board. 
like actually and actually haven't gotten away with it um so have you I, listen I, I i'm i'm a little bit more focused on circa than than, than other things but that's denver, fine also, I, I, but, I, denver, I, but denver's also a good play in general just if, if you need doubles later i mean that's that that's yeah. decent also what do you think of uh, you, you think of these three teams at all so because i'm out of the stuff yeah. that matters like right. the one yeah. with doubles and then circa yeah. i didn't even look past right right the charge like san francisco I, I, and move on right exactly. i looked at it very quickly i think Minnesota and Jacksonville are both unplayable because of week 12. Yeah. And again, when I'm looking at this, guys, I'm, I'm looking at the a week. I'm first crossing out the teams I don't have, and right. then you need to cross out the teams that you will not have and the ones you probably won't have. Right. And when you do that, this is what it looks like. You have Tennessee available. Okay, everybody's going to have them. You have Minnesota available. That's who we grouped out. You have Jacksonville available and Cincinnati, possibly. And then after that, you're dropping down to – you're not going to have San Francisco. You're not going to have Miami. You're not going to have Kansas City or Dallas, meaning you've already used them or you should use them in a later week. So I would – it's going to be very important with, a, with an aggressive strategy – to have Minnesota and Jacksonville available for 12. If you're going to make a move, you want to be able to make a move with them as an option in week 12. And also Jacksonville is a possible in week 11. Now, Minnesota has some other outside possibilities. You hate to talk about week 18, but you know, if Detroit is, uh, is locked into place, Minnesota will be a really nice pick in week 18 potentially. And, uh, Jacksonville, well, they play Tennessee and they play Carolina and Tampa Bay the last three weeks. So I, I would never play Minnesota Jacksonville. The best one is the obvious one. I, I talked about this two or three weeks ago, the, what I call the, the, vo the vomit test. It's Denver. The sicker, the sicker it feels, the better the pick. They right. have absolutely no playability, no playability at all. They just gave up 70 points and they look horrible. So if you're going to drop, that is clearly the best one. And they're projected at microscopic uh, yeah, no ownership. One's no one's you cannot take New Orleans. That, that's, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say it every week because I want someone to win the pool in week 17 with New Orleans and, and then thank yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you can't take Cleveland. No. You could take Pittsburgh. I, I, I like Denver the best. And then I like Pittsburgh if, uh, second because you're – probably not going to take Pittsburgh in 13 anyway, at least I as wouldn't. As long as, long as, you got some, as long as you have some ammo. I mean, we have Tampa. You can use well, it. ammo, but it, it's, it's also like last week I said, I wouldn't take the chargers and right. six, but you know, when they become such a, a large favorite and you get to save, like the Chargers are going to be like a 13 point favorite maybe. And if I don't want to take Buffalo, Miami, Philadelphia, you know, that, that group, I'd be dropping to like a four or five point favorite. Do I really want to drop eight points um, to fade a team that's going to win 85, 90% of the time? Yeah, maybe, but probably, probably not. They're going to be less than 50% owned. So I'm just going to go for it. Yeah. I do I'll, like uh, that. I do like that. I guess the next one to talk about, well, you're no one's ever taken Dallas, but no, uh, I, I, we could talk a little bit more about the chargers. I, uh, if you already took Philadelphia, you should highly consider taking the Chargers. And if you've already taken Kansas City, you can't take Philly. So th those are – Talk through that for, a little bit about specifically the Philly with the Chargers. Okay, I said if you – if You said if you took if you took Philly, yeah. then you should take – then you should take the charge. Oh, because you just don't have them in because you can, Because you can't – you should not take Kansas City. Oh, okay. And okay. even if you've even if you have San Francisco available, you could still take them and, and save San Francisco. But Kansas City is it's just really nice getting to the end of the season. The problem is Kansas City is that one week just sitting there in week 16. There's not a bunch around it. And I guess San Francisco, they have a couple weeks before and after. So you want to have at least one of those if you've already used Philadelphia. The safest thing to do is just to take the Chargers now. But it would be really nice to be able to take them in eight and not use any of the other 
top tier teams. Uh, you, but you can, you can't have both. Um, you're going to, you're, and after that, you're dropping to the, the three-point favorites. I'll tell you so, this, if Arizona shows up in freaking week seven and knocks off Seattle, that's going to be some devastation. Mm -hmm. It will actually uh, – if we're done talking about – that's the most fascinating week to look at. If, if, we're, yeah. if we're done yeah. – I, I, um, if, if I did – if you have Kansas City available, I would take Kansas City, though, as long as you have Philly. If you've already used teams like Dallas and Miami, though, that's when you really need to start looking at your mapping because yeah. you might run into some issues if you've used a couple. Like I, I'm not thinking of it because I would have never used those teams. So when I'm when I'm hypothetically mapping for pool, you know, general runouts, and then for the two that I have left, I have all my Miami, Philly, Buffalo available in Dallas. So. I have a much clearer, I have a lot, much, much, a lot more options in, in, in some of these weeks than someone who's already used, say, maybe two or even three of these teams. That's why I only have two entries left and everyone else has more. And, that, and, that, and that's okay. I'd rather have easier decisions to make, what I feel are easier decisions, than have a lot of decisions to make, but, you know, less ideal spots. So can't, I like, in order, I like San Francisco, Kansas City, in Philadelphia as long – no, Chargers than Philadelphia. But I, I would I, – I, I didn't think of the, the other teams. Denver's, Denver's a fantastic pick. I, I'd rather use them than Philly now that, now that I think about it. Yeah. Um, what Got do some you, notes in week what seven. You, what, 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 do you think, what do you think of seven? Uh, seven seven's going to be awesome. Uh, seven is a very exciting week because everyone's like, oh, there's a bunch of teams, you know, sixes and fives and fours. No, there's not because you cannot take those teams. So if you're not taking Seattle or if you're going to fade them and, we, and we're sorting by largest favorite at the top, if you have Kansas City, you're not going to use them here. It makes, it, it makes no sense. You, you, if you have them at week seven, you need to save them for week week 16 and more or less just lock them in. You're not – same thing for San Francisco. It makes more sense to take Kansas City in week eight than San Francisco because San Francisco has so many options, more than Kansas City, 11, 14, 15. So what I, what I was doing earlier, I started crossing out teams I'm never going to take. Uh, Buffalo, same thing. You're not going to get there and not save them for eight, 10, or 11. So you get rid of them. You – you can't take Cleveland either. Cle Cleveland is at, at this at this point in the tournament. They're just as valuable as some of these other teams. More valuable actually than Kansas City because they have a three week run between weeks fifteen and seventeen. So I I, I cross them out. Baltimore. Now, oh yeah, now we're down to Baltimore. You're not going to take Baltimore in a three and a half point favorite because you're going to use them in eight. <laughs> yeah, you might use them the the next week. Or week 14. So we crossed them out. Well, same thing with Philadelphia. You're not going to say Philadelphia and use them here as a three-point favorite. And this is where survivor pools get so much fun because it's forcing people down to the, the bottom tier teams that are even considerable. But some people are going to flake out and they're going to take – if they took Seattle, they're going to take Kansas City, which is a oh. huge mistake. There's, you can't take that risk. In week three, yeah, drop but, down but, to Seattle what, and then what you, take but, 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 but okay, but so okay, but you have to make a pick, right? So, so I know that's well, that's well, that's where it gets exciting. Which one is the right pick? Usually, it's just gonna, it's gonna, it'll, it'll show you. Just like last year, it showed us what the right picks were in week nine or what, what, what the, the the week we got knocked out last year. Right, right. We took we more or less we ended up taking the teams that looked the worst. One had a QB change, and one played at eight thirty in the morning Central in London, and they had the lowest ownerships on oh. Survivor Grid, and they and they and we were the only ones oh. that picked. Well, them. I I have a dumb question, just to play devil's advocate. Okay, if if we're gonna eat the Chargers chalk in Week Eight, just because they're yeah. just much better, I mean, what what's the harm in just like just eating Seattle? Uh, I'm not I, be, because of the the. For me, it's going to be the difference in the win percentage. Okay. No, uh, yeah. For me, I, I even said at week one, if Washington was a 10-point favorite, I'd just eat it. But but they were seven. I'm just going to hope they lose. Yeah. And, 
and that's that, that's that's more or less where my cutoff starts. It, once it gets past ten, then it, then it becomes a little bit easier to do. I'm not sure what exactly is correct, but part of how I play this is how you know how am I going to feel afterwards about the play? Because you don't ever know exactly how good or bad a play was because the variables change. Yeah. You're not going to take New or- going back to week seven. You're not taking New Orleans. You need to save them for later. So you, you have a small group of Pittsburgh, New York Giants, Green Bay, Atlanta, Las Vegas, and then we're circling back. Now Denver, but Denver plays Green Bay. Very small group of teams. And this is why it's important to map because you were just talking about some other teams you can drop to in week four. And this is why it's important to look at a, at a week like week seven and find some of the teams that are possible that you should at least consider. And if Pittsburgh is on an albeit maybe, you know, you know, medium type list, but as a possibility, and you're between Denver and Pittsburgh this week, you should take Denver and leave Pittsburgh as a, as another option yeah. for week seven, because that if you're, if you're going to save all those other teams and not take Seattle, Pittsburgh's the highest favorite left after you eliminate all those other teams. But all those other teams are going to get taken. People are going to puss out and they're going to, they're not going to want to take a two point favorite. So you might be able to take Pittsburgh or maybe Pittsburgh's projected at five to 10%. If they are take Las Vegas, they will be a one point favorite at, at, at Chicago. It'll feel really disgusting and no one else will, no one else will take it, but you'll have unique ownership in pools of maybe hundreds of people. And if Pittsburgh loses, that'll knock out 5% of the pool potentially. And then you'll be the only one in Las Vegas. I would leave yourself a lot of options because there's a lot of teams that I personally am never going to take in week seven. Now I might take Seattle. Um, I I would rather take Seattle than say. Kansas city, Philadelphia or Kansas city. Yeah. Or San Francisco. God, it's tough. I mean, I guess I, I guess I would take Seattle over Cleveland. And I might take Cleveland first. I don't know. It, it it's it, there's never you're never going to regret making a, a really a, a really aggressive mistake. Mistake being that you lost because you're not going to know how the thing played out anyway. And if you the aggressive mistake will allow for a lot more options leaving more of the top tier teams, which is why I started this podcast saying, if you're going to take some chalky picks, at least let it be the bad teams playing worse teams when they're hosting, because then you, you make it a few weeks in and you've taken Washington, the New York Giants, the Seattle, and either you don't want to play them or you can't play them the rest of the year and you have everybody else. I've, got, you, I, I've got an awesome thing to show you. Okay. So, so I yeah. wasn't aware that this was the case. I wasn't aware that when you go back to earlier weeks, it shows you what the the odds, the, the spreads were in future weeks as of then. I thought they updated. So so I, I want to show you, like, here's an example of what, what could happen in this. So so I want to go back to week one for a second and, like, what the, what the board looked like in week one, just for the hell of it. I just yep. had this, this week pulled up. In week one, like, the Jets – were the second biggest favorite in week 14, like worried about like when the jets are going to be like way too chalky. Oh yeah. We talked and, and we now go okay. ahead to where we are right now. And you have to like scroll like to like the 11th pick to get to the jets. Yeah, that's, that's pretty <laughs> awesome. Yeah. That's pretty incredible. Yeah. I did know that feature that, that it was like that, but I've never yeah. really looked at it that way. Yeah. It it, it 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 aids as a helpful reminder that things change quickly, yep. but that doesn't mean that you should make a conservative decision. That's right. That's right. You, should, you should, if anything, an aggressive decision. Let's look at week nine. That's the other very interesting week. Great week, actually. Fantastic week. You have two teams at the top that more or less everybody will have available. Yep. Cleveland, 10 and a half versus Arizona, New Orleans, nine and a half Chicago. This is going to be a great, this is a great week because if you could fade them both and you get, and they both lose, you get lucky. And, well, it, it, well it, that's, well, you know what? That's the week. That's yeah. the week to try to sneak Pittsburgh in. 
and, and this is a great week if you, if you have doubles in nine. This is one of those things where what I do is, you know, if these spreads get to 14, it's different. But when you have two teams like this at the top that everybody has, you can get that lucky three-team parlay in where they both yep. lose and, they, yep. and, and your, <laughs> yep. your two teams win. And I'm telling yep. you, if you get through, you got to you got to be very careful though with your with your picks. You can't just take the, the third and fourth biggest favorites. You want to drop a little bit. You, you, you can see ninety seven percent of the pool get knocked out with only four yep. results. Yeah, yeah. But this this week is exciting because you got two teams that everybody has that have as a clear drop off. Just eliminate Baltimore. Uh, I'm not saying Baltimore is a bad pick here, but nobody it's has them. I mean, a lot of people have used yeah. them by then. Right. And if you get there, you might, you know, I'd rather save them. So I, I'd rather, I'd look, I'd like to look at this through the lens of not having Baltimore available, whether you will or not. And then bam, look at the next teams. Well, it's a tie, but we can get rid of, oh. we can get rid of the, the top teams. We're going to get rid of Kansas city. We're not going to use them here. We're going to get rid of Philadelphia. I mean, where are you? Uh, week nine. Yeah, I got, I, Kansas City doesn't even exist. I mean, like. Yeah, well, they're three and a half point favorite, yeah, but they're the fifth, yeah. they're, the, they're the sixth biggest favorite. Right. So there's a pretty yeah. large group that they're all the same. Yep. But the, the leading one is the Chargers who will be taken this week and in eight. Yep. So the next group is, and this is what, what we're t- I was talking a little bit ago, when you're deciding between two teams, don't just flip a coin, you know, look ahead to see which team presents more opportunities. And well, here's why you need to take Denver over Pittsburgh this week. Pittsburgh, this is the second week where they pop up as a team yep. that you really might want to take. Yep. Because again, right here, Cleveland, right here in week nine, this is, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's one of, if you don't take Cleveland, New Orleans, it's one of the best picks. And Atlanta is right there. Atlanta has a lot of other possibilities toward the end of the season. So they will be an interesting one to consider. Yep. Uh, New England will, you know, New England is not much to consider. Everybody will have them, and, and there's not much need for them. But when you're deciding between teams, I another reason why I like Denver more than the the other three teams you you spoke of, which was Minnesota, Jacksonville, Pittsburgh, and Denver. Denver's is not ever going to pop up, and now we've had yeah. Pittsburgh pop up twice, and then Minnesota and Jacksonville are clearly better yeah. options for the end of the season. All right, so just in summary here, I mean, like, listen, uh, sometimes we're sometimes we're on the high favorite team, sometimes we're we're fading them, and I think we're both uh, we're both in agreement, just because given everything that we've discussed, just San Francisco is just the best play. They just are. Um, but if you've already taken some of the other top tier teams, look to see what your outlook looks like right. without those other teams available. And then uh, Chargers, if you want. And then, uh, then you're then you're then you're picking uh, your favorite of the Bow Wows, and I think I think there were uh, sort of an agreement that Denver is probably the best of the Bow Wows, um, mm-hmm. and it's like you said when you say Vomit City, whatever you called it, uh, the Vomit Pick or whatever, and uh, yeah, definitely uncomfortable. Listen, every it's gonna be a lot. Listen, this, here's my advice: it's gonna be a lot of struggles, it's gonna be a lot of stress, it's gonna be a lot of whatever. I mean, I mean, listen, not not that not that Mike Mike uh, stresses, but it must be nice to step Kansas City up to forty one to nothing. You know what I mean? Just the uh, just just cruising along, you know. Just take your San Francisco, you know. And listen, the thing about San Francisco, don't be don't be surprised if it's like, remember, San Francisco blows teams out a little differently than Kansas City. You know, like San Francisco, this could be seven three at the end of the first quarter. You know, and then. Maybe 10 3, but then it'll be 13 3, and then there'll be a pick six, and then it's 23. You know what I mean? Like, and then the game's over, you know? But, but, but don't you, you you might stress a little bit, but I I think this is just, it's not just take the free square for the purpose of taking the free square. It's taking the free square because it makes sense in terms of the rest of, of, of the season. Uh, That'll do it. Good luck, everybody. And uh, hopefully we're, uh, <laughs> with all that said, uh, you know that Arizona's going <laughs> to uh, Good luck, everybody. See you next week. See you later. Uh, we'll do, um... I, I will uh, check your telegram. I will keep you updated to see if I can move my other appointment around. Sounds good.